Hello and thank you for choosing our video. In today's video we will be making the all-around triple single on one loom. For this bracelet we'll be using 16 red, 16 orange, 16 yellow, 16 green, 16 blue, and 16 purple. We'll also be using three C-clips for the pattern and three temporary C-clips. We'll start off by placing the loom into a grid pattern by moving the center row of pegs so it lines up with the outside rows. We position the loom so that the arrows are pointing upwards and from bottom to top across all three columns we place the elastics and we'll put them in the pattern of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. And we'll continue this sequencing until we reach the top of the loom. And now from the bottom to the top, we place an elastic across all three columns in the same color sequence as we had before. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Do not place any elastics across the top row. We rotate the loom so that the arrows are pointing down and place the C-clips on each bottom elastic so it captures both strands of the same elastic. We'll be using the uh, loom tool to help us with this. Okay, from the bottom to the top, we now loop the elastic. So we bring the bottom elastic up to the peg that's immediately above it. And we repeat this process with all three columns of pegs. We'll continue this looping with all the elastics until we reach the top of the loom. Once we reach the top of the loom, we want to place the C-clips onto all the top pegs. Once again, we could use the loom tool to assist us with this.
these clips that we're putting on are just temporary, just to hold the pattern while we remove it from the loom. Once the clips are attached, we could remove the entire pattern from the loom. We can take a look at the C-clips to make sure that they all have three loops of elastics on them. If not, just reposition them so that the each clip has three elastics. And then we can put this off to the side, turn the loom around so that the arrows are pointing upwards, and we want to repeat the same pattern as we did before, starting off of the red at the bottom, followed by the orange, and then yellow, green, blue, and purple. we repeat this pattern until we reach the top of the loom. As we did before, we will place elastics across all three columns. Once again, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple until we reach the top of the loom again. And once again, we don't put any elastics on the top row of pegs. Now we'll come with our pattern that we had made previously. And with the red elastics, We'll find the ones that go onto the left peg, stretch it across, and place it onto the peg. We'll do the same with the middle pegs, or middle set of elastics. And we do it also with the third one, so that we basically continue our pattern where we had left off. At this point, we'll keep the C-clips attached. It, it'll make it a little bit easier to remove once we have the pattern off the loom. So now we loop as we did previously, from bottom to top, loop the elastics to the pegs uh, immediately above it. And we continue this looping process until we reach the top of the loom. Starting from the bottom of the loom, we want to remove about half of the pattern. We do not want to remove the entire pattern from the loom. If we remove the entire pattern, it will fall apart. So we only want to pull up to the halfway mark. Just enough so that we have enough slack so that we can place the clips that are currently at the bottom of the pattern so we can bring them up to the top. That's about the halfway mark. Now adjust the elastics on the C-clips so that the elastics are on one side of the clip. Oh, 
that one came off there, we'll put it back on. Now we want to bring the elastics down and clip them onto all the end pegs. And we could use the loom tool to assist us with this. And they want to perform this same task with all three uh, ends. working on the middle clip here and now with the final end clip once these clips are attached we can safely remove the entire pattern from the loom now there's two sets of clips on the bracelet right now. We want to remo remove the temporary C-clips that were in the middle of the pattern. These temporary clips are just sitting loose within the bracelet so they can be safely removed. And once we have these removed, we have our finished bracelet, the all-around triple single bracelet. Thank you for watching our video. Additional videos can be seen at www.rainbowloompatterns.com.